Hello again, I am Blunty, and I'm sorry if I look kind of shiny. It's incredibly hot and humid in Sydney today, and I'm deeply uncomfortable. So just bear with me if I gleam in the light rather unattractively. Now, I like to keep up on the tech, gizmo, gadget, or computer, electronic type news and rumors and stuff like that. Well, not so much the rumors. Rumors tend to annoy me a bit because... Most of the analysts or tech bloggers out there will spin up any stupid rumor they like just to get some page hits. Like, every six months since the iPhone first came out, there have been strong rumors from sources in the know about the Verizon version of the iPhone coming up real soon. And it has never, ever happened for the last, like, how, how long has it been now? Three, four, three, four years, or whatever it's been with the iPhones? Uh, rumors and rumors and rumors about the Verizon iPhone. Now there's a new batch of Verizon iPhone rumors, and they're stronger than the last ones, and everyone's predicting that it'll come out soon. Who cares? Just talk about shit when you know shit is happening. What's the point of talking about shit if you don't know shit? Makes no sense to me. It just annoys me. It just irritates me. And then, you know, reliable sources, bullshit. Anyway, the latest batch of enormously insightful rumors from the Apple side of the tech universe are about the iPad 2, of course. There's been leaks of supposed cases come out that are going to be for the iPad 2, and it's got a big sort of gap down the bottom there, which is supposed to be for a bigger speaker, and there's a hole for a camera. Surprise, surprise. And people, tech celebrities like uh, like Kevin Rose have come out and said, you know what, I think Apple are definitely going to come out in a couple of weeks' time and announce the iPad 2 which is some sort of work of magical prophetic genius as far as I'm concerned because it's a year after they came out and told us all about the first version of the iPad. Who could have guessed that a year on from that they would announce the next model? Kevin Rose is some sort of genius to actually figure that out. I don't know who his sources are, but main they must be buried deep there in the Apple campuses. <sighs> but it did get me thinking about what I would want in the next version of the iPad. And, you know, people are talking about a front-facing camera and a back-facing camera and it's got this and that and you know, obvious kind of stuff. Yes, it'll have a camera on it. Front facing, at least. Probably a back facing one too, although on a device that large, even on the smaller Android tablets with a camera on them, it's awkward to use it as a proper camera. It's just too big, too awkward, too silly for that. But it'll probably have one anyway, just for the sake. But it'll at least have a front facing camera because Apple are pushing their FaceTime thing. And now Skype have got the, the video conversation thing working on their iOS devices as well, which is kind of neat. I'll tell you what I do want to see in the second version of the iPad. Lighter, of course. Second one's a bit heavy. You know, you're lying in bed with it held up like that. You drop it, you're going to smash your nose open. You're going to bleed all over your pillow. You're going to have to wash your pillow before you can go back to sleep. Never happened to me before. It happened to a friend of mine, allegedly. Um, I want to see it faster again. I mean, it's pretty fast now, but more power never hurts. And, you know, it just it's obvious you're going to upgrade the power of it. I want to see a version of iMovie on it. iMovie on the iPhone 4, brilliant little piece of software, but working on the little screen, even though it is a brilliant retina screen, you know, I want to I wanna have more real estate when I'm on the go. iMovie on the iPad device? Brilliant. Not to mention the retina display on the iPad. Got to go to that, retina display. But you know what? Rumors and educated guesses, all of that aside, you know, it's not really a foregone conclusion that I will upgrade to the next version of the iPad. I've upgraded every version of the iPhone as, a, as it went along. I have all the models of the iPhone, even the one they didn't sell in Australia. I got one imported because I wanted to check it out. I was so fascinated by the... because it really set the standard. And you know, you know, whether you love Apple or you hate Apple, you know for a fact the iPhone changed things in the mobile phone marketplace. Everything changed after that thing came out. Same thing happened with the iPad too. Slates had been around for a while in various formats and forms. Apple suddenly got it right, people responded to it, and then everyone else was playing catch-up. Speaking of playing catch-up, Android 3.0, Google released a video of it out of CES that's just been and gone, uh, or it's just sort of finishing up now, uh, and it looks amazing. It's not really a foregone conclusion that I will upgrade to the iPad 2 at this point, and Steve Jobs from Apple has gone on record saying, we're going to do a 7-inch tablet. We've tried it. Well, you know, Steve Jobs has been caught out lying like that in the past for a while. We know in a two weeks' time he could announce a 7-inch iPad and, and pretend all that other stuff he said never happened. He's done it before in the past. But I really do like the 7-inch kind of form factor. I've had a couple of different Android tablets in that size in for review. I've had to send them back because they're only review units. But I really do like that size. So an iPad in the 7-inch format or an Android tablet running the new Android 3.0, which is specifically designed for slates and tablets. It's not, 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 not going to be on phones. It's specifically designed for slates, and it looks really special. I mean, it's serious competition for the iPad this time. Android 2.2 on, on, uh, on slate-type devices eh, gave a little bit of competition, but it was never as smooth, it was never as slick, it was never as polished as the iPad was. 
Android 3.0 on the other hand, it's, it's got me weighing up the options, it's got me thinking. So what do you guys reckon? What do you want to see in, in the mythical second version of the iPad? Well, mythical, I say mythical, it's soon to become reality because of course they will upgrade it because it's been such a huge success. Of course they will upgrade it real soon, a year from the la launch of the last one. It's a foregone conclusion, really. There's no point making up rumours about it. It's retarded, but I'm going off track again. Or would you go for an Android tablet? with the, the Android 3.0, gingerbread, no, no, what is it, honeycomb, I forget, all these candy-based names, it drives me stupid, 3.0, Android 3.0 tablet, just, yeah, it's going to be a tough choice, I'm telling you that much, anyway, thanks for watching, I'm Blunty, I'll catch you next time.